A lot of you have one of these at home, um, which sometimes work. Uh, in the event that you have um, a plugged toilet, um, obviously you want to remedy that. So um, let's talk a bit about how to use a plunger properly. So I'm going to give you an example of a, of a plunger that's not creating a proper seal, which is actually going to have little or no effect on, on clearing this toilet. Um, fortunately, I have nice clean water in there. So again, trying to get a nice seal. I can see I'm not getting a seal at the bottom here or at the top, I'm gonna to give it a couple pushes and you're gonna see water squirting out. So here we go. All right, so again, not a great seal, had water going there. If I pushed really hard, that water might come back out at me. There's a couple things you wanna look for. A, has the water level in the bowl drop? So oftentimes when we have a plug toilet, we have sort of a water level up to here. It's not too pretty. Um, after we've done the ad adequate plunging, did we hear that water um, drain away? Did we see the water level drop? Um, the last thing you want to do is test whether you've, you've gotten that to drain by fully flushing the toilet because you're going to have not only the water that's already in there, but you're going to have the additional storage of the tank come out and onto your floors. If you've followed all the steps correctly, You've tried plunging your toilet, had no effect on it, you're still plugged up and you're ready to uh, put the plunger down, give us a shout at RMB. We have all the proper equipment. We can clear your toilet um, and uh, any lines beyond that.